Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I want you guys to profit the most you can with Facebook ads. I will be showing you what the most important KPIs are, which is obviously all of these right here. And it's going to be really key for you to know what a good CPM is, what a good CTR is, CPUC, and the rest of these. So we want to know what entails a good ad, what entails a bad ad. Then in a future video, we're going to show kill scale strategies, when to shut off things, when to scale things. So this is all important to know before we do that. And the most important important KPIs at a first glance. What I look at is amount spent, CPM, CTR, CPUC, and CPA or CPP, cost per purchase, cost per acquisition. Also guys, like and subscribe to the channel because I hope this video can help you out and I'm going to be dropping videos all the time every week. Ideally two or more a week I want to shoot for it. And if you're interested in like scaling Facebook ads one-on-one -on -one, following a proven system guys, click the link down below. I actually have students going in there all the time and within 21 days they come to me complete beginners and they start making sales around like literally one to two weeks. Usually the first week of starting Facebook ads, the first week is generally just like setting up landing pages, picking products, all that stuff. And then if you come to me and you already know how to run Facebook ads and you have a good product, or if you just know how to run Facebook ads in general, we can do all the other stuff in like a week or less. And then within those 21 days, you're going to be able to start scale and go crazy with your Facebook ads. And the height that you hit, if you're going to hit like 1K a day, if you're going to hit $500 a day or six k a day which i actually just had a student do who just left the program it depends on what part of the journey you're currently in and when you come to me so if you're a beginner you're gonna avoid doing the wrong things that you shouldn't be doing and you know you're gonna get a proven blueprint that's copy and paste if you come to me at 1k a day we could turn that to 5k a day no problem i've done it before so now i want to get back to the kpis guys also subscribe to the channel while measuring your kpis you need to be taking all variables into play so you you might have bad ct are like it might be one percent but maybe your cpms are really really low and you have like a five dollar cpm and you're actually getting decent traffic and cpuc is really great like you have a 20 cent cost per unique link click and maybe your cost per acquisition is like at five dollars meanwhile you have a 15 dollar profit margin so you need to take all the variables into play and here's what good kpis look like in my opinion so a good cpm under 15 dollars that's what you want to look for at the beginning those are decent under ten dollars that's when it starts to get pretty good and then if you you can get your CPM under $5, that's going to be amazing. And you're probably going to be really, really, really profitable. CTR over 2% is okay. This, this is like the bare minimum I look for. And then over 3% CTR, that's good in my eyes. That's a good ad creative. We're making creatives in the right direction. So every time you see a 1%, you want to try to get it to two. How can I improve this creative to get it better? If you see a two, how can I aim for a five, a 10% to get this ad creative as good as it can get? So over 5% in my eyes, that's really good. I even have some ads that um, get like eight to 10. Usually over two is okay. And it's something to improve on. So CTR, if you don't know what it means, it's the ratio to how many people see your ad and how many people click your ad. I use this to tell how well my ads are resonating with the audience that I'm actually targeting on Facebook. And while looking at the CPUC, I like to say under $1 is good. Under 50 cents is great. Under 25 cents in my eyes, that's a complete winner because I could just adjust the landing page, improve the copy, improve the creatives. And then like, from here, if you're profiting a lot, you're getting a lot of orders, stay on top of your customer service. Make sure there's no problems with your website, your checkout process, optimize landing pages, like I said, for conversions and get ready to scale. Because at this point, if you're getting CPUC, that's at under 25 cents. You could scale crazy probably because your CPA is going to be great when you have your offer right and everything. At this point, if your back end and website isn't the best it can be, you're losing sales. So you really want to tune it all up to make sure you're squeezing the most money out of your funnel possible. So right Right here in this section is where people really get lost and they don't know if their ads are bad or if their website sucks or it's both. So I'm going to simplify it real quick. If you have good ad KPIs, your product and your ad is good. People like it. Like if you have a 20 cent CPUC, if you have a 50 cent CPUC, people are clicking through. That means your ad and your product is good. Now, here's the other scenario. You have good KPIs. You have great CPUC, great CTR, great CPM, but you have low sales and your conversion rate is really low, like lower than a 1% or something. You you probably have a website problem and this means that people are interested in your ad but they're not interested in your landing page your checkout or shipping page is maybe throwing them off maybe the price point or the offer you're presenting isn't good enough so we need to find out what this is because if we have a really good ad but people are not buying something on the website is throwing them off and we need to find out exactly what it is so we can improve it like don't charge for shipping give free shipping all of those little things make sure the copy is good make sure you have good headlines and the biggest thing is 
going to be the offer. The creatives you have on your landing page, you want these to stand out and make it really enticing for the person to purchase. Cost per unique, add to cart and initiate checkout. I use these as insight if people are interested in my offer. So you have a really low CPUC, like 25 cents on an ad. You drive hundreds of visitors to your website, but there's no add to carts. There's no initiate checkouts. You need to make the product seem more appealing. And at this point, the problem can be many things. And this is what you need to improve. Maybe it's the product photos, the copy. Your offer isn't good enough. Unprofessional landing page, more than three product variants. I've seen many people sell a great product, but they have like seven variants. And that's going to make your conversion rate go actually a lot lower because when people get information overload, they take no action at all. So if they see seven variants, they might not know whether to pick green, blue, red, yellow, orange, and the other two. But if they see just green and blue, the option for that customer is way easier to decide. So maybe you're not providing enough value for what you're charging. So maybe the product isn't worth the price you're selling it at. Maybe the offer isn't good, you know? And then this is also a really good point to take. Put yourself in the customer's shoes. And if you're buying your own product, you can really think, okay, is this a good experience? Is the offer actually good? Like, would I buy this? Would I scan my credit card? Would I type in the numbers? Would I put in my information and be excited to get this at the price I'm getting it? Be real with yourself. And I do have a set of testing beliefs. I would definitely stick around for it. If you're testing higher ticket products, like you're selling a hundred dollar product, you're going to have to spend more money to give your product a fair chance because you can't just cut it at $15 like a low ticket product. You need to be able to spend that margin and spend more. Not as many people are willing to spend a hundred dollars as they are 30. You're running a legitimate business at this point. Guys, you need to test and test a lot, test everything, and testing will cost money, so just know that. Another really important belief, you need to test products you actually believe in, and you need to see if they actually qualify. You could go back to the other video I made in this course, what makes a winning product? Understand this quickly, and then you'll be way better off, guys. And if you're having second thoughts about the product you're testing, you can run it through a qualification checklist. Is it problem solving? Is it this? Is it that? And check all the boxes that you need. Make sure the product is needed in the market, put it in Google Trends, and make sure it's trending up and then make the final decision if it's worth it to test or not. And you want to do this quick. You don't want to put in one product in Google Trends and take one week to do it. That's a full seven days where you could have put like 30 different products in Google Trends, got all the data, and now you have a better decision to pick from. Don't be emotional. Look at the statistics and make the best decision backed with data that you possibly can, guys. If you're not doing that, you're going to get creamed, bro. It's impossible, impossible to sell something consistently that the market doesn't require and that's why you want to make sure you back it with research. So I do have a couple theories. One is ad sets will start out good and if they do, they will often remain good during scaling period. And two, ad sets that start out bad will often remain bad. Three, following a set of kill scale rules will always perform better than if you go off emotional judgment. These are my theories. They have been proven from my experience, so you can follow them too. And in my next video, I'm gonna be doing a whole Facebook strategy, killing, scaling, how to set up testing campaigns with product. Bro, you guys are gonna love it. If you want to go and get me one-on-one -on -one as a mentor and go through my proven program that literally only takes 21 days and you can see phenomenal results in those 21 days if you're serious and you're a hard worker i'm all for it i'm always down to teach i'm always down to provide value so click the link down below and set up a free one-on-one -on -one call with me just click that button once you're in the link and we can schedule a date there's a calendar in there you can set up a call time i'm down to hop on a phone call see if i can help you out if i can let's do it you know let's start making money but facebook ads is actually really simple to me now i feel like i can make it work with any great product and even deeper than facebook ads you just need to set up the landing page right you need to present the offer correctly and i have experience with multiple different niches so many different products guys like i i do this over and over again it's a copy paste system at this point and i see results with so many someone just left the program and she's making 6k a day now that's pretty nuts because she came to me and she was making 300 a month so yeah guys like this video subscribe to the channel and I'm going to make sure that you guys actually become savages with e-commerce and you do it the right way and you don't listen to the misinformation out there that's kind of ruining your business. Like I want you to be profitable and make some cash. So join our Skype group if you didn't already too. The link's down below. So get in there. I will see you next time, guys. Love you. Peace.